Hello everybody, hi, it's Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. Old Style Classics Baseball Cards, how you doing? And it's, um, I'm recording this on Tuesday the 17th, so it's technically Tobacco Tuesday, but I'm not going to release this till tomorrow. So, to continue on with my theme of mini tobacco cards, I've been doing a lot of Allen & Ginter lately. I just updated you guys on the 2016s. That I found but we're gonna take a little break from um, Alan and Ginter for this video and we're gonna give you a taste of some Panini mini tobacco cards which have the uh, variations in the back which are pretty cool and um, so when I get to that I don't have a whole lot of these cards to show you right now I mean I have more um, packed away somewhere but I'm just gonna give you a taste so that this will come out sometime in the morning and uh, maybe later tomorrow in the afternoon maybe I'll do some Goodwin Champion minis alright folks so um, please turn up the speed to 1.25 or 1.5 if I speak too slow or monotone for you and um, shout out I believe we've got a bunch of people that chimed in today so let me pull this up I am at 185 subscribers so we picked up a few uh, in the last two days. Need 15 more to go by next Monday, I believe, the 23rd of September, which is my one-year anniversary here on uh, YouTube for Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. And it says, really quick, sorry, I'm looking at the screen over here. Um, 615 videos, people. And wow <laughs> in a year sorry people got a lot of stuff to show a lot of stuff that I'm interested in showing and um, yep these are the car kind of cards I like and not really hardly anyone was showing this kind of stuff so that's why I do this so hey if we can get 15 more subscribers so I can do a contest hopefully we can do that by my one year anniversary here if not it'll be delayed then um, so shout outs Peter B uh, he said top nice tops and G cards uh, Sorry Kirk Kohler Keep doing what you're doing. You're close. Yep 15 away. I assume that's what he's talking about Joe wood collector uh, Doug hominid just found your channel enjoyed your episode. Thanks for sharing. Thank you Joe or Doug I should say um, Sports card um, detour nice collection of minis I responded to all these people budget rips replied to me um, about the turkey reds that he was getting in his 2020 um, update flagship set he got one in every pack so I guess that was an insert that I didn't even know about I mean I have a few but I didn't know that you can get them in that otherwise I would have bought a lot more but I don't really buy flagship all that much Wax Nostalgia commented again about the First Americans cards. Cardboard Nerd, we heard from in again. Congratulations on the anniversary coming up. Wax Nostalgic, etc., etc. So thank you for chiming in, folks. And thank you for whoever subscribed. It really doesn't tell me most of the time who subscribed. But I would like to thank you. And um, so just got home. Eh, it was kind of a long day, but I, I stayed busy enough. Anyhow, sorry about that, folks. So let's turn this camera around and get to it. All right. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. All right, but folks, there we are. Old style class baseball cards. Send people my way to subscribe. We've got 15 more to go. All right, so we are going to do some Panini mini tobaccos, but we're not going to be doing... Nope, it's not going to be Diamond Kings this time around. Uh-oh, I left this on this whole time. These are going to be some 2013 Panini Golden Age. So these are super cool. It was a cool set. It's kind of Allen and Ginter, but, or Goodwin Champions, but just mostly a lot of celebrities and stuff like that. Because, you know, Panini didn't have a baseball license, so... Um, 
we're going to start off with the low short prints. So right off the bat, we got Honest Abe, Abraham Lincoln there, president. So Panini America trading cards, golden age, if you can see that there. And old Honest Abe on the baseball caramel. So card number one, 150 card set. And the different colors are the short prints. So when you get like a red or green or something on like the caramels, they're a little rarer than like these blue ones. And then you'll get the other backs like the um, Tops 206s and stuff like that. So we should see some cards that are going to have some similar backs. If I can pull these cards out. Okay, now that's my Gypsy Queens. Looking for my Tops 206 people. Alan and Ginter. Alright. So we, shall, we should see some stuff similar to like the Tops 206. Um, but anyways, there's Baseball Caramel. I just got a little stack to show you so it shouldn't take too long. All right, our first baseball player is for my Chicago Cubbies, Joe Tinker, shortstop Chicago. So Tinker's Evers to Chance, Hall of Famer, Joe Tinker on the baseball caramel, 2013 Panini down there, Golden Age. Golden Age is a fun set. Um, I like a little bit more than that Hometown Heroes because you obviously get minis. Uh, their minis are a little bit different than, say, the Allen and Ginter minis. So as you can see, um, they're a tad bit shorter, but a bit wider. So little differences, and you'll see that in stuff like a Goodwin Champion as well. So they'll have little differences. So there we go, a baseball card, people. So Tobacco Tuesday on Wednesday. Baseball caramels. And these you can still pick up pretty cheap. I think you can still get a hobby box for like 80 to 100 bucks or something. I think they're cool. And they did it for about three or four years. Um, I don't know why Panini uh, abandoned the mini cards though. All right. Fielding Yost, football coach. It's about 2013. You can see that in there. They're nice cards. They're kind of a little bit of a pea colored yellowish. And, um, you know, they're adequate. So, card number 14. It's got the little baseball bats, the glove, and the ball there. American Caramel Company, Philadelphia, PA. So, I guess these are a little less like the, um, the different cigarette brands, but all the different, um, like, confectionery, like, uh, candy cards and caramels and, like, food issue more than tobacco issue is I think what they're going for especially on the back so there you go the great Bobby Jones golf champion so there he is Bobby Jones famous yeah they're they're nice stock typical mini stock um, they got a little texture on the paper there so gives it an old school feel so I dig that um, Golden Age isn't throwing back to anything other than general back to the Golden Age. But they got some great stuff in it. Some super funny stuff. Some cool stuff. Like right there, Spanky. So George McFarland actor Spanky from the Little Rascals. So that's super cool. Old Spanky. They got the Three Stooges and stuff like that in some of these sets. So baseball caramels. And then you get people, well, I mean, I don't think he's still alive, but you get some of these um, actors and actresses, autographs, like uh, the Bad News Bears one that I got. Uh, I got that one Bad News Bears, um, the chubby catcher guy, and autograph. You know, so these come just like Alan and Ginter. You get like six or seven cards, and one of them is going to be a mini, and the other ones are full-size cards. And I think you get at least two hits per box. 
And this one always throws me, so another baseball card. Al Lopez for Cleveland, catcher, because that glove pops out into the to the frame. That's, so that's kind of a neat little design that they did there. But you'll be like flipping through and you're like, oh, what is that? Is that card backwards or like a different border? But there we go. For you Cleveland Indian fans, look at that old school glove. All right, number 59. Fun stuff, people. And I believe, is that Sham? All right, I need my uh, magnifying glass here. Sham Racing Thoroughbred. So, got some horse racing in there. It's a pretty cool image of them coming down the stretch at you. Hey, uh, I wonder what's wrong with old Sham here. Why the long face? <laughs> hey, people. So, the guy at my work, I was telling him that toupee joke my wife said the other day. You know, you say something like, hey, I was at 7-Eleven today. And this guy walks in, starts talking to the guy next to me, and looks at him and says... Oh, maybe I should have her tell it. She just walked in the door, people. Here she comes. Holy smoke. Hello. 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 Hey, hey. I was just going to steal something from you. What? All right, people. So, I'm at 7-Eleven. A guy walks in, starts talking to the other guy. And he says to him. Oh. He said, hey, do you know where I can get a toupee? Not off the top of my head. <laughs> she came just in time for her joke, people. It's my wife. Hi, babe. Hi. And so then I was going to tell the people the other one that a uh, buddy at work told me. And I, I always mess this up, so hopefully I get this right. People, do you think soy milk is just real milk introducing itself, spell, in, itself in Spanish? <laughs> Your soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, hey, a buddy of mine applied to be a security guard at Samsung. He got the job, so now we make fun of him. What are you, guardian of the galaxy? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Hi, babe. Hi I'm going to pause you folks for a minute so I can say hi to my beautiful wife. All right, folks. So, pretty funny stuff, I think. Hey, <laughs> guardian of the galaxy. All right, everybody, here we go. These, this is the guy my brothers met in middle school. He was running around uh, either in the Mesa right next to our school before they built the Target, or maybe he was running around the track at the school. But Sugar Ray Leonard was staying somewhere in Albuquerque in the early 80s, I would guess. Probably 82, 83, somewhere around there. And he was out exercising during the day. And... Um, he came over to the fence and uh, or came into the school and met a bunch of the kids and my brothers got to meet him sugar ray leonard boxing champ and uh both my brothers got to meet him so that was cool i think they had his autograph but who knows what they did with that but that's a cool story and that's the same school so maybe maybe the coach knew him and his people because i told you my middle school a pe coach said he was um, cousins with Steve Garvey. And then they had, uh, old Don Newcomb was gonna come to our school when I was going to that middle school, but then he couldn't make it, so. Maybe he's the one that got old Sugar Ray to come by. Here we go, people, for not only card collectors, but comic collectors and movie people, and covers all the ranges. Mr. Stan Lee. So I believe he is one of the possible autographs you can get out of one of these boxes. Rest in peace, Stan. So maybe that's good enough reason to buy one of these to try to pick. Never mind, people don't buy that. Um, yeah, you don't. You don't want to do that. I, I, I'll check for you guys. All right, still on the baseball caramels. All right, next we've got another another horse racing jockey, Lepet 
Pinke Jr. Lafitte Pinke Jr. Jockey. If you can say that better than me, maybe you're French or Canadian. Because that's the best I can do. And look at that, people. Carolina Brights. So beautiful. Nice. We're getting a little variety here from the baseball caramels. All right, set that aside so we can do a comparison later. Carolina Brights. So it is cigarettes. So, they, so there we go. Tobacco card honoring the Carolina Brights. So nice stuff. All right, now baseball again. Hey, look at that, people. Brooks Robinson. Also rest in peace. With Brooks Robinson there. I do have a bunch of these full-size cards too that I can show but I'm in a mini mood this month hey how about that a mini mood month Mep Timber Mep Timber does any month start with M May. May why don't they have a month named my my oh my my oh my it's my fifth <laughs> it's just stupid. All right. Brooks Robinson. There we go, people. So, once again, Carolina Bright. So, that's sweet. Let's set that aside since it's a baseball card for the thumbnail. All right. Now we have affirmed 1978 Triple Crown winner. So, there we go. Another horse. A horse, a horse, a horse, of course. Triple Crown winner. I believe he was the last one until recently um but a firm triple crown winner he's just busting out of there for you hey tina tina belcher carolina brights card number 110 all right who do we got here Bo shem belcher hey belcher that's the last name of bob from bob's burgers bob belcher so, Shem Belcher, football coach for who, I don't know. Carolina Brights again. Wow, hi, babe. Hi. Hey, look at these people, huh? Can we get dinner started? Sure. Look, <laughs> it's Greg Brady, Barry Williams, actor. Now, I've seen a lot of people pull, um, um, what's the little one's name? Cindy Brady. Uh, now that's Jane. Jan. Right. But a lot of people, I've seen some people pull multiple Cindy Brady relics out of this product, like um, hobby boxes. All right, people, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, Johnny Carson. <laughs> I thought that was a Smothers brother <laughs> at first. All right, Johnny Carson, TV legend. I hear they might be um, shutting down the old Tonight Show. Um, all those night night shows, late shows, are not doing well. Um, too one-sided, so I guess they're struggling. Johnny Carson was supposed to be cutting old Jimmy Fallon down to four days a week, from what I understand. Carolina Bright, card one, two, three, folks. All right, a few more to go, people. All right, here we go. Baseball, Ron Guidry, New York. All right, Ron Guidry there with the Manfro. And you know what kind of stash that is. <laughs> Got to be from the 70s, huh, folks? Another Carolina Bright. All right, here we go. War Admiral. 1937 triple crown winner pretty horse well tina belcher would like that one i think babe it's like black beauty or something like that big horse you ever hey look at that an off color so purple even rare uh if you've never seen it people do yourself a favor go to a horse race and watch these horses come running down the you know right at the wire Things are huge. I mean, they're almost as big as like a Volkswagen bus. 
All right, card number 31 on the purple Carolina Bright. So pretty sweet. Two more to go, people. But this one's cool. Do 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 do. Welcome to old style classics baseball cards, where the oddities of cards come floating through your room like a talented card from Alan and Ginter, <whistles> Rod Sterling in the Twilight Zone. You are trapped watching old style classics, all 609 videos in a chair over the weekend. What shall you do? There's no way out of it, folks. There we go. There's a rare red baseball caramels. Card number 82. So pretty cool. All right. And, oh, we did get a smother. Tommy Smothers. Didn't he just die? Entertainer. Tommy Smothers. And look at that. Really short print, people. Play ball and eat. Nadja caramels. The winners that is one of the super super short prints so i do have a couple super short prints so there's this and i think i have like the, um i don't know if it's the crofts coco or something like that but pretty short printed so that's awesome i mean too bad it wasn't on a baseball player or something like that but that's still pretty pretty rare people so that's sweet stuff all right everybody so there's my little um a little taste of my caramel and cigarette cards from Panini 2013 Golden Age. And you guys really knocked it out of the park by being here when my lovely wife popped in. So I think she's going to say goodbye. Goodbye. And I'm going to say goodbye. But hey, people, we need 15 more subscribers to get to that 200 mark. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Have a good, uh, what is it, Wednesday tomorrow. Wacky Wednesday.